Leaks of Fortnite Season 3 are already here, and from a huge new jungle biome to the return of Dr. Sloan, next season is changing the Fortnite island forever. Just yesterday, this image was leaked, and whilst it's pretty low quality, it does confirm all the theories about next season's jungle biome and the overarching tropical theme. There has also been leaks for a desert biome alongside this version of Dr. Sloan for next season, but why are all these new areas and characters just showing up, and it seems to be out of nowhere? Well, my current theory is that the Zero Point has grown out this jungle to hold the island together. We know that when Mega City arrived to the Island, it put a lot of physical pressure on the zero point, and the entire map is really struggling to stay together as one. As a result of this, earthquakes have begun to get worse, and the cracks on the island are slowly being covered by jungle vines, and I believe those vines are being grown by the zero point itself. Some people are even saying that this is being caused by the Herald's tree growing out through the different biomes, but her tree doesn't match this jungle vibe. So I think it's pretty safe to say that she is not the cause of these new map changes, and it is more likely to be the zero point, but I could be wrong, and I would also love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments, so while you're down there, why don't you hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the video so far. So we've covered why the Zero Point is growing this new jungle biome, but there's also a desert that's meant to be arriving next season, so what exactly is that all about? A user on Twitter by the name of the Raging Reaper spotted a tropical biome in this unreleased loading screen. This loading screen shows all of the different realities that the Zero Point pulled together when forming the Chapter 4 island, but something's off because these tropical trees and the bright yellow sand we see here isn't anywhere on the map, but the Raging Reaper actually thinks it's still sitting right below us. This will be a very cool way to introduce a new biome to the island. I mean, we've flipped the island, we've built it together like a Lego set, and now we're gonna unbox it like we're in some toy review. I mean, fair enough, it's a pretty original idea. But the thing that confuses me the most about all of this is that every reality the Zero Point pulled together had some sort of purpose. The Snow Biome had the Reality Warriors, and also Paradigm was there in the Fracture event. The Medieval Biome has the Oathbound Kingdom, and the Grassy Biome contains the vault that the Zero Point sits in. So what exactly is this desert biome needed for? Well, if you think back to earlier in the video and in the thumbnail, I show you this desert version of Dr. Sloan. We know that the Zero Point theoretically is growing a jungle next season, and the last time it ever did something like this was back when it grew the Reality Tree. When the Reality Tree was left uncontrolled, the Zero Point became really vulnerable and completely unprotected because the Imagined Order were not there to control it. If the Zero Point plans on growing out this jungle, having a member of the Imagined Order on the island would be a very good idea. If Dr. Sloan does indeed return next season, she could take control and make sure things do not get out of hand, but then why would Sloane even be in this random sandy biome in the first place? The last time that we've ever seen her was back in the collision event last year when the Zero Point was cycling through all those different realities. It is quite possible that Sloane jumped off into one of these random realities to escape her injury and prepare for her return, and that would explain how she's so well adjusted to this whole desert biome and its sandy theme, and it would also explain why exactly she and the desert biome are arriving next season. Essentially, what I'm saying is that the Zero Point needs the Imagined Order, so it grabbed onto the reality where Sloane had escaped to, and now that entire area is going to come up from underground, and just hearing all of that stuff in one sentence makes me so hype, and there's so much to expect in Chapter 4 Season 3. Another possibility that's come into my mind while thinking about this is the return of the early members of the Imagined Order. In last season, the Ageless was brought to the island as a younger snapshot of Geno, and this snapshot idea opens up for the possibility for us to see former members of the Imagined Order, such as the Foundation, and even Midas himself in the Doomsday Division. Now, just so you're not all confused, we did not literally go back in time, but the Zero Point has created and kept earlier, younger versions of characters in the loop, so that way we could be able to look back to when the Foundation worked within the IO. And we know that the current version of him is most likely corrupted within the last reality, so just imagine that super cool dynamic of the Imagined Order version of Foundation fighting his corrupted counterpart on the Fortnite map. Now, just to touch back on Midas quickly, Jules and Marigold have both been updated in-game. Jules is receiving a whole new outfit, which is actually Season 3's starter pack, and Marigold got a new style. The return of Midas is something that Fortnite story channels, including myself, have talked about for absolutely ages. Let's just hope that with Chapter 4, all of the rumors come true when he pulls up in the most exciting way possible. And I mean, it's already looking pretty exciting so far. Growing this jungle might be the only way for the Zero Point to hold the island together, and if the Imagined Order isn't rebuilt quickly, we could be in for a seriously chaotic season. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, I think it would be pretty fun, but it wouldn't be so great for our reality, but what are you guys most excited for? Let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in Season 3's Reality Jungle.